Hey, Aaliyah. So I hear through the grapevine that you went on the expressway today. Can Why you tell I me told about you? it? What'd you tell me? That yeah, I went on the expressway. What happened? Um, I don't know which one I went on. I went on something south. But it was like, you know, do you know the street that, okay, no, no, no. What's the Pulaski or the Cicero that goes straight down? Both. Anyway, tell me about the experience. No, I'm trying to tell you. Which Cicero. One I got on. Cicero. It's okay. Anyways, so I got on or whatever, but it's like I had to turn because the way to go to Bremen, we just went to the first expressway because the one by our house, the streets are messed up. So it's not really smart to take somebody who knew on that expressway. So I went on the expressway by Bremen, so I had to um make a left turn, and then I had to say to my right though because I needed to go out, so the expressway right there and I could get on. So um, I turned and I went and I got on the expressway, but as I was getting on the expressway, you know, like I had to look curved thing. I did that and then I had to slow down to let the people, like so the people could go back and so I could get in. And then That's I had to go. That's called merging. Yeah, I had to merge in, but like I had to slow down so they could go, so they could let me in. And then I was going, I was going, and then he had me do like a lane switch because I was in the farther lane and people be getting off and on that lane. So when I you say the get, furthest lane, what you mean on this side or that side? Like when you, on this side, when you get on. Okay. So I had to um turn my turning center on and get into the actual lane that's on this expressway because that, is, that one was going to end and it was just going to be the shoulder and you're going to get cut off. So I had to start driving, driving driving and then he had me go over to the third lane right and I was driving and as I was going farther and farther the um, speed limit was going higher and higher so like I was having to like go really fast like faster than I ever went and um I didn't mess up or nothing and I had to get in front of the truck because you know like they can't see like and then the people behind me, I wasn't going. To, I was going to speed limit, but like they was going over the speed limit. So, but I was like in the fastest lane, so I had to go over the speed limit to get in front of the truck, so I could get no, yeah, to get in front of the truck. But he told me like once I know I can get over when he like in my rear, my rear mirror, cause you know like you could see certain stuff in your mirror, but once you could actually see it, that's when he wanted me to get over. So then like. I could get up there so the people could go, like, and I'm not holding them back or nothing. And then, um, yeah, then there was this other truck, and it was on the side, and he was like, um, like, if he opened his door, somebody could probably hit his door, because you're not supposed to open, like, the driver's door closest to, um, the expressway. And, um, it was this other U-Haul truck that was, like, holding everybody back, so I had to, like, speed up and then get from behind him to get in front of him so I could keep going. And then, um, I was driving on the expressway for, like, 30 minutes. He asked me that I want to try cruise control, but I told him no because, like, I don't want to do that. Um, it wasn't a bad experience, honestly. It was fun to me because I just felt like they was going really fast. That's all I felt. I feel like... When people be driving fast when you like in a passenger seat, you know they going fast, but like when you the one going fast, it's like crazy. Like I don't know. But I had to like keep my my two hands like at ten and two because the trucks kept coming by me. And you know when the truck come by you and I mean the car I was driving wasn't little, but compared to the truck, we're little. So like all that wind and I couldn't let it like turn me. And I could like I couldn't hit nobody car. And I was trying to like stay in the middle, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. I was trying to make sure like I left enough space in between the cars. So like even if they start breaking, I could break before they break. And like I won't have to like be like this to them. Cause I don't need to be like that, because that's not good. And then um what else happened? Yeah, I was driving far, man. I was driving far. I didn't even know where I was at, like driving far. And I had to um, learn like the signs, <coughs> like the blue signs, and I saw a brown sign. And the blue signs is like what's coming up, like ahead or 
for like his gas stations and stuff and like i saw like rest stops for like bus to, i mean like trucks to go and i saw like the signs you know like the speed limit size you always see the speed limit size but then i was seeing like speed limits for like trucks that was like over like four tons and then they had like spaces for them to get away that and they had like a lower speed limit than us so like when I would get like behind the truck, I'd be wondering like why I'm going so slow and I just feel like all these cars is like passing me, but it's like they can't go the speed limit. Like we go. So I had to get from all like behind all the trucks that was in front of me to get in front of them because regardless of like how fast I was going, he was gonna have to stay his speed limit because that's the law or like they could get a ticket. Mm -hmm. And then um yeah, the speed limit signs. I was just seeing a whole bunch of signs and it was like telling me where to go and it was like telling me like which exit and it was like even if it was like one exit it was like like 354 it was like an A and a B and like one I think go east and go west mm -hmm. yeah and um wait you mentioned the brown signs the brown signs is like recreational park yeah and like if he said it could be like um What's the name? Abraham Lincoln like house and stuff like stuff like landmarks yeah. historical. Mm-hmm. telling us about that. But I feel like when I was driving, I was I'm close to the wheel. I feel like I always made fun of people that was close to the wheel. But I realized I'm little. So I be having to be close to the wheel. So I was just sitting there like this. And he was like talking. But I wasn't really responding like because he was just saying stuff, like telling me about the stuff. And I was just listening. I'm just listening, but I'm not really saying nothing because I feel like, my you supposed to turn. Um, I feel like I ain't wanna, I don't know. I feel like as a news driver, I don't like when people talk to me because I be trying to focus on what's going on. And then I had like three mirrors to look out of. I had to look out my top mirror. I had to look out this mirror and that mirror to see everything because like if a car was trying to hit me from the back, I had to look and if it was something on my side and then I had to check that. I had to keep turning my head to see if the people um, could let me get over. And if it was Is it people. exhausting driving? I don't feel like it's exhausting. I feel like it's fun. I feel like I like driving because I feel like I learned like a lot of new stuff driving and you can find a lot of new places and like you can explore new things. And I've been like, ever since I've been driving, he's been taking me places like I've never been. So it'd be like, oh, what's this? And then I've never seen this. Mm -hmm. And it'd be fun to me. Because, like, I don't know. I just feel like. Has he ever had to hit the brake with you? Not that I know of. Probably, like, if, like, I ain't know where to turn. He ain't like, never did like this? Oh, no. I, <laughs> not that I ever felt. Because I knew when to break Because I'd be scared to hit people. I, yeah, I'm scared to hit people. So, like, I don't know. I'll be trying, like, to stay off the curb. But this boy scared me today because when he was, like, getting, he was, like, turning to get on, he was, like, on the, um, like, side thing. And I'm scared of that. I'm scared of when people, like, go too close to the side, even, like, on the bridge or stuff. So I'll be trying not to do that. And, like, on the expressway, I was, like, having to, like, stay in the middle. And I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's the hardest thing for real, for real for me because, like, I be having to look at two lines, and then when I don't look at the lines, and I'm just trying to look straight. Sometimes I end up going over, and I don't. Be, I be scared like I don't want to hit nobody's car. So yeah, but I feel like I never had situations where like I panic or nothing. I don't know. I feel like I'm a good driver. I feel like the people I drive with, I'm the best driver, cause they be tweaking, and I feel like I don't be tweaking. I feel like I tweak like one time, and I never tweak again, cause I. Like, I feel like. I went into driving there not really knowing how to drive. I was driving like around the block and stuff. Drivers that be having me drive like on the street, like like how Kira, how like how my daddy was teaching the Kira and like the Kira be scared like going on a certain street. I can't be like that, cause it's like I'm gonna sit there and look stupid. Like I signed up for it, so like I gotta drive. So yeah, yeah, it'd be fun.